Well, hey, Ben, it's Jamie. That's me here. Welcome back to the channel. Listen, I just wanted to get into this story real quick because I'm a little piece of nosy like that, okay? And we got to talk about this Douglas County judge that was arrested recently. Um, I feel like I've seen her on television somewhere. I feel like I may have seen her. I could be getting her mixed up with somebody because I, I, her face looks familiar, but I thought she was an attorney. I feel like I've seen her on like Love and Hip Hop or something like that. Um, I think some people said that she may have been on Ready to Love or whatnot, but I do want to get into what's going on because it appears that she ended up being arrested not too long ago, girl, and it's crazy work, okay? The lady got into an altercation. They said she struck an officer, and Miss Ma'am is arrested, and now she's saying that she was wrongfully arrested, and I do want to get into this article just a little bit. Um, let me see if I can get an image of her. Let's see. Um, and I could probably show that to you guys over here on the screen, honey. Yes, so let it let us pull this up, okay? Because some of y'all might have seen her before, but I don't know her like that for real, for real, okay? So, this is the woman here, honey. This is the probate judge here. I believe her name is Christina Peterson, but we shall get into uh, more of these details. Give me one second. I want to make sure that we got everything. Okay, so let me just. All right, so y'all see who we talking about, honey. But let us go ahead and slide over so that we can get into some things, okay? Now, this is what they letting us know about Miss Christina. Mm -mm, honey. Girl, ain't this, uh, ain't this, this crazy work? But let's uh, hop over here. All right. I guess I'll take her off the screen. I get. I, I guess I'll take her off the screen for now. All right, bet. So what they're letting us know is that a Douglas County probate judge was charged with a felony in Atlanta. All right. They said that this judge, um, Christina Peter Peterson, is facing multiple charges after she was arrested early Thursday um, in Atlanta. Now, the jail records reveal Peterson is facing felony obstruction of a police officer by using threats or violence and simple battery against a police officer okay now they're saying according to a police report an officer working an extra job at red martini restaurant and lounge on peachtree road in buckhead went to speak with a woman who was crying in a lounge of uh, valet area early thursday morning now when the officer approached the woman he allegedly was hit in the head by the lady now girl what you got going on that you just set up there and hit the officer in the head What's really going on? They said the report says that Peterson refused to identify herself and appeared to be under the influence. Now, after she was taken to jail, Peterson reportedly refused to tell officers her name and instead told them to notify another officer who shared her identity. OK, now the judge was scheduled to have her first appearance at a Fulton County Magistrate Court on Thursday morning, but she but waived her appearance. OK, now. This is real interesting. First of all, you know, struck the man in the head. Don't want to tell the man your name because you feel like you about above the law because you are indeed a judge. So you told him he need to ask somebody else, tell him who the hell I am, because he really should already know who the hell I am. It's what it kind of seems like to me. OK, um, they said that a Douglas County probate judge found guilty of systemic incompetence. Now, what is that one about? They're saying in April, Peterson was found guilty by a Judicial Qualifications Commission panel of systemic incompetence incompetence with the panel recommending that she be removed from office the first time judge has also been the subject of several fox 5 itv investigations okay um, or i team investigations since she took office in late 2020 the panel determined that peterson ignored courthouse rules abused courthouse personnel made inappropriate posts on social media and in repeated cases failed to do her job girl this is unfortunate because that makes me think of the lady out there, um, Tiffany Hinger, out there abusing power just a little bit. Now, they are saying the decision came after four separate hearings that begin in September of 2023. She faced 30 counts of misconduct. In their report, the hearing panel said Peterson was guilty of systemic incompetence. OK, judges are expected to act in a manner that promotes the integrity and partiality of the judiciary. OK, and the impartiality 
impartiality of the judiciary. Now, they're saying the respondent has shown that she cannot or will not do so. And so she must go. Now, this is real interesting of what y'all trying to say. The manner is of the judges and how they're supposed to act, considering the fact that y'all got the um judge down there, Mr. Glanville over there acting a damn fool while he's doing the young thug th uh, case. OK. So it's real interesting that y'all talking about how judges are supposed to act, but he down there acting a the fool, okay? But anywho, uh, that's why I guess she got the, the charges that she got or, or tied up in the situation and the verdict that she got because she about was out here acting a fool too, let the people tell it, okay? They said the uh, Georgia Supreme Court will ultimately decide whether to approve the hearings panel's recommendation at a later date. So it looks like they want her to be removed from office, but the Georgia Supreme Court is not going to be getting to that anytime soon. Soon. So I guess with them not getting to that situation anytime soon, she gets to remain in her position. OK, now they are saying that the body cam video was released. Douglasville County judge arrested uh, for helping a woman that was being attacked. OK, so this is what they're saying. The reason for her arrest was she was helping somebody that was being attacked. I do want to hop over. And let's see, is this it? I believe this is the young lady that's going to give the account on what happened as her. She was the one that was involved in the altercation. So let us check out some of what she had to say here. Hello, good afternoon, you guys. My name is Alexandria Love. I am the woman that was attacked um, Thursday morning, about 2, 33 o'clock by a man I don't know. He pushed me down. He, I scraped my elbows. He viciously attacked me, fist force, punched mm. me in my face. Oh, wow. And she I hope y'all got his information. To help me. She the only one that was grabbing to help me. Everyone else in that video was his friends, grabbing him, trying to grab him, but could not uh, attain him. She was the one that was grabbing him. She didn't mean to hit the officer. The officer swooped in and grabbed me up. He didn't even care to see the per the man, the big man that was actually brutally hitting me in my face. So when she see him grabbing me, she didn't know it was the officer. She thought I was still being hurt and attacked. The officers walked up after she was already on the ground and the guy was in front of her face. So the officer officers missed some of what happened. In sight. Nowhere. Because I would have grabbed the officer, but I was grabbing strangers and the guys with the red shirts that worked for Red Martini. If there was an officer there, I would have talked to the officer. Officers was nowhere on site until after this lady was already in a police car. And five police cars came. They all left when they took her. I had to sit there and call 911. So you didn't get to make a report or anything? Me. I have never been in that situation before in my life. So, as you can hear, the officers did not even take the statements of Ms. Love. That's what I'm questioning. Ms. Kelly or any of the other witnesses. They did not detain this gentleman. Uh, and we believe that this uh, is a travesty of justice. Uh, and we're calling on the Atlanta police and the district attorney to dismiss these charges immediately and to charge this man for his violent acts on yesterday early yesterday morning so that's what i'm more so into like who was the man that assaulted her where the hell is he at when the police came why was they scooping her off the ground not trying to get a full understanding of the situation and arresting this woman all because she hit them accidentally okay um how they're laying out the story i'm just like okay i need more details like did they get a statement from you did they get any information from you you mean to tell me that you were assaulted and these officers did nothing but they more so focused on the person that did assault them that's interesting because i'm like if she just hit them and they everybody is going crazy and she hit one of the officers by accident my assumption would be that the officer probably would have let it go possibly unless there's more to the story and she was doing way more Right. Um, so, yeah, let's get into more of what's going on. Thank you. Erickson, can, can you explain, I, I don't think you're going to have the judge talk, right? No. Can you explain her state of mind right now, what she's going through? Well, I think she uh, certainly uh, has had a lot to deal with in the last 24 hours. 
Um, but certainly, she does not know these women. They did not know her. Mm. Uh, they just know that she was the person that tried to help save this young lady. And so, um, I think in the heat of the moment, a lot of things happened, and maybe the officers got confused. But certainly, someone should have at least got her statement or taken these people's names right. and numbers. Five police cars left the scene without speaking to the victim. That. That's just not right. But I do want to thank the cops that did come at the end because they were able to calm my friend down. So the cops that did take our statement after the fact, I do want to thank them because they actually did help us. Red Martini would not even let us back in the building. We were still standing out there while she had just got assaulted and the club would not even let us back in to talk to somebody. Did somebody try to explain to police that night that she was a peacemaker? And yes, it's all in our statement. I, w I refused. I refused because she was hysterical. She would not talk. I refused to leave that, that building until somebody got me on statement saying that an innocent person had got locked up, that we did not know no. who she was. And we did not understand why she got locked up and the gentleman that did this got away freely. He just walked away like wow. it was nothing. Chai. We didn't know who the gentleman was. No, we, no, did we not. don't know and just, to this day. Was Judge Peterson just like leaving the club and happened to witness She this, was or? simply walking outside. That's what somebody, one of my other friends told me. That lady just walked outside and saw what was going on and took off and helped her friend. She didn't even think twice. And that's rare. A stranger, when I saw other people that knew me that just stood there and looked. <laughs> so with this situation, it's interesting. Like, I understand that they're painting her to be a person that, you know, was pretty much an angel that night coming to somebody's rescue. And I definitely understand that. But I also feel like they're going to give her even harsher judgment because she's a judge. And they're going to look at her like, well, you being a judge and understanding how the law works, you should have known to call the police first. Right. Um, so I don't know. Like, I'm in the middle. I don't want to say this lady is fully guilty about uh, about anything. You know what I'm saying? As far as in the office officer you know i don't know but i mean if somebody getting assaulted and you want to help them out i mean i see nothing wrong with that the issue came in when the police came and they decided to snatch you up so then my question becomes what was really going on for them to just snatch you up and not even care to get a statement or get an understanding of what was happening and what happened to this young lady and her being assaulted you know what i'm saying so that is crazy um Let's see. I'm trying to see what I want to go to next. I think I'm going to go over here and check out um, the body cam footage. Okay, so let us get into some of the body cam footage to see what's really going on. Okay, I am going to speed it up just a tad bit. Okay. In the world is this man going? I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You, you are allowed to touch me. You're a liar. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. What you're pushing me up. You're a liar. Only... Come on, see me. What is going on? Not the lady wig that came off too. Okay, so it's given that she was wild and crazy and don't know what the hell she did, but some hands definitely touched the cop, whether it was a slap, a punch, or whatever it was. But it seems like they were arresting her for no reason. Not her, I'm sorry, not arrested, but it seems like the young lady that may have been assaulted was who she was kind of like who they had grabbed up and it looks like the judge was pushing people like get off her let it go of her let go of her get off her and in the result of that ended up hitting one of the officers and that's what it's looking like to me she ends up finding herself in this situation okay, 
Back up, back up. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He, uh, she was helping the girl out. I didn't push. No, I didn't. I don't push, nigga. I didn't push. No, I did not. You, are you? No, I didn't push me. Okay. Are you what's crazy for me is it's the fact that you hear a person telling the officers what was happening so it looks like she may have hit one of these white officers i don't know so they they focus on her it's getting locked down i don't know if they white or black girl. but anyway it sounds like you have a man trying to explain to them what was happening and what happened once they arrived on the scene. And the officers, in my opinion, are not caring to get an understanding of what was happening because they're more focused on the fact that they were hit in the matter. OK, that's what they focus on, allegedly. But she's denying that she did that. I'm not hearing nobody else saying, yes, she did or whatever the case is. But um, I definitely hear somebody trying to explain to the officers what's happening. And the officer is not trying to hear because they're so focused on apprehending her. Record, record please. Record, at, please. Are you serious? He was trying to hear what's going on. That girl was getting slugged by a dude. Record, that is. That is, record, please. Please. I'm just thinking to the And he took off my... Yes, ma'am, your wig is gone, baby. I... <laughs> I would have said put me in the car too. You done knocked my damn wig off. Hurry up and put me in this damn car. I am a public figure in these streets. Do not embarrass me more than what I am embarrassed already. Put me in the car. Got my nun having edges out and everything. I appreciate that. I don't know that. That pisses me the fuck off. Now, I'm not going to say the officer should not have arrested her because I still don't know whether she hit them or not, right? But my thing is, you have multiple people telling you all that a young lady was assaulted and none of y'all give a fuck to find out where this young lady is, what the fuck happened. Y'all do not give no fucks. But you care about somebody hitting you when she's still trying to protect the young lady as y'all are grabbing up the young lady that was just assaulted, she's pushing and saying, get off her, get off her, get off her. Now, I'm sure she probably pushed the officer, not punched the officer. I don't know, okay? But it definitely looked like some hands was being touched. But at the end of the day, my biggest thing is not so much as her being arrested, but it's y'all not going after the initial person that was the fucking problem for me. That is like, that is so problematic. OK, and now knowing that this woman has this situation where um, she was already what was it incompetent sy systemic uh, incompetence and they were they had found her guilty and they want her removed from office or whatever. They're definitely going to use this story to make it even more bigger and salacious than what it is okay now i don't know much about her background honestly or her character some people may feel like she's a fool y'all may know more about her i'm sure you're going to share your thoughts and things down in the um in the comments but i'm not fully familiar with her i just feel like i may have seen her on television um uh, working with somebody on love and hip-hop and stuff like i think she was working with somebody regarding a divorce or something don't quote me but I think this may be her, but if not, I mean, people have said that she was on Ready to Love. I am not sure, but um, I'm not sure of her full background, but I do feel like they're going to try and take this story and make it even more crazier and to use this as evidence against her as to why she should continue to be removed from that particular role. Now, um, 
I am interested in knowing more about what the hell this systemic situation was. What was the basis of this? They're saying she must go. The unanimous recommendation from a hearing panel investiga investigating a Douglas County probate judge, Christina Peterson. The first time the judge has also been the subject of. OK, let's keep going. Um, I'm trying to find out exactly what did she do? Okay. So they're saying the three member panel of the Ju judicial qualifications commission decided that she was guilty of systemic incompetence because she ignored courthouse rules, abused courthouse personnel, made inappropriate posts on social media and repeated cases, um, and failed to do her job in what ways though? That's what I'm wondering. What was it about? Um, Okay, so maybe they're getting into more. They said the extraordinary decision to remove Peterson follows four separate court hearings. We hear that. The one that troubled the panel the most involved Peterson's decision to jail a woman for simply trying to amend her marriage certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father. Okay, boom. So this is what I'm trying to get to to get an understanding as to how y'all felt like she was incompetent. Okay, they said PJ Skeleton served two days of a 20 day jail sentence for contempt before her husband could pay a $500 fine. Such a hasty and shockingly disproportionate reaction is the hallmark of Peterson's intent intemperance okay they said the report criticized peterson's attempt at a neighborhood meeting to get her hoa to settle a lawsuit she filed she had filed even though she knew the hoa was represented by an attorney all right so first she had the issue where she got this woman jailed the lady was trying to amend her um, certificate her marriage certificate to have her i guess her father's name on it okay that's weird Years later, when she learned her father's her birth father's name, she returned to amend the record. Instead, the judge Peterson failed to warn. I am. So if her last name, original last name was Smith and she was going by a different name. OK, maybe she just OK, gotcha, whatever. So the lady ended up serving two days of a 20 day jail sentence. I'm wondering how did it even get to a place where it was contempt? What was had? I need to see the court hearing to know what happened in the courtroom for this woman to be held in contempt for her to even serve two days of the 20 day sentence that she got for being held in contempt. So I'm wondering what happened there, because I can't say whether this woman was 100 percent wrong in holding this woman in contempt. Y'all know we watch court shows over here all the time and sometimes people be on some other stuff. You feel what I'm saying? That could have resulted in her getting um, that sentence. Then they're saying that the report criticized Peterson attempt at a neighborhood meeting to get her HOA to settle a lawsuit she had filed, even though she knew the HOA was represented by an attorney. But what's wrong with that? Unless you're saying that she was trying to throw her weight around as a judge to try to force them to settle a lawsuit that she filed, which I guess she should have been. They should have been talking with the attorney. Let me see if we can watch this real quick. Well, she must go. That is the unanimous recommendation from a hearing panel investigating Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Russ Spencer. I'm Courtney Bryant. The first time judge has also been the subject of several Fox 5 I team investigations. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says the extraordinary ruling follows years of questionable decisions from this judge. Randy oh, Courtney got you. Russ okay, so it's been years of controversy from the moment she was sworn in for what is typically a non controversial job. The hearing panel for the Judicial Qualifications Commission decided the probate judge's actions prove she is guilty of, quote, systemic incompetence. I'm sorry. Did you want to take a break? Christina Peterson did not do herself any favors during seven days of hearings beginning last September. The JQC hearing panel's report criticized her for not taking any responsibility for the 30 counts of judicial misconduct lodged against her. I just don't have a memory of my dad. I don't know who he is. Oh, wow. The most troubling, wrote the panel, Peterson's decision to jail this woman for trying to amend her marriage certificate to include the real name of her recently discovered father. Did you go to this hearing um, with any idea that you may be going to jail? No. Because how do you go for a name change of a and then go to jail? Sentence for contempt before her husband could pay a $500 fine. Yeah. Such a hasty and shockingly disproportionate reaction is the hallmark of Peterson's intemperance, wrote the panel. I will dismiss the law. I will dismiss the law. 
The report criticized Peterson's attempt at this meeting to get her HOA board to settle a lawsuit she had filed, even though she knew the HOA was represented by an attorney. Peterson's attempts to avoid responsibility for these clear violations bordered on the farcical, severely eroding her credibility with the hearing panel. You cannot go in this building, and eventually she went in. The sheriff's office said Peterson ignored their orders and held a wedding. Oh, after so you hours, just don't. Ah! People inside without deputies present. You just don't what the hell you want to do. Button when a deputy was late escorting her to court, causing a temporary panic among security. And when county staff criticized her actions, it quickly triggers allegations of obstructionism or even racism. These communications and actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. I was never celebrated or congratulated. Uh, the first when, on my day of swearing in, I was sworn in by Jeff. Okay, I'm going to have to pause right here because let me tell you, it's two things. One, knowing Douglasville, Douglas County, girl, it's giving heavy on the racism for sure, 1,000%. So that she definitely got a target on her back, number one, being in that area. Um, but number two, ma'am, I have to be honest and say... You're crying right now, in my opinion, trying to seek a bit of sympathy. And this is why they on your ass, because you don't like to take accountability for any of your actions. Like, girl, you legit was holding a wedding. What it sound like they said after hours when you were not supposed to do that. But because you're the judge, you think that you could just do whatever the hell you want to do. Absolutely not. And then the whole situation of the lady trying to get her name changed. How the hell does a name change Turn it to her having to serve two days in jail. What kind of shit is that? Like, what's going on? Did she do something in the courtroom that resulted in her having to do that? Like, I am confusion. Now, when it comes to the um, HOA thing, the only thing I would think is wrong with that, because I see nothing wrong with her trying to get her HOA to convince them to sign off on a lawsuit. But if you guys are supposed to be handling things as, as you know, with your attorney and their attorney, who the hell are you to go down there to try to somewhat threaten them high key is what it seemed like. Intimidate them in some type of way. That's not how that's supposed to go, ma'am. Now, you know, now I understand you may have experienced some biasness and because it's you when you find yourself in situations, they are going to heighten it up. OK, to be bigger. But you don't be doing yourself no favors either, ma'am, because you can't be running around, running a muck in the palace. And then when it's time for you to be held accountable, you want to cry your way out. Judge Emerson, I received my first JQC complaint. Peterson's main defense was her inexperience as a judge, a problem she promised has been addressed no, through additional training. But the panel was not buying it. The report also cited multiple examples of failure to actually do her job, needlessly delaying petitions before her office. The hearing panel said Peterson was guilty of systemic incompetence. Judges are expected to act in a manner that promoted the integrity and impartiality of the judiciary. Respondent has shown that she cannot or will not do so. And so mm -hmm. she must go. Peterson has 20 business days to file exceptions to this report with the Georgia Supreme Court. They're the ones who will ultimately decide whether to follow the recommendation to remove her from office. Her attorney, Lester Tate, told me they disagree with the recommendation and will take this to, quote, the next level. And by the way, remember the HOA situation? Yeah. Well, they got a judgment against her, and they're now garnishing her judicial wages Ooh. $43,000. Oh, my God. She told us before that she was making a considerable amount of money for a probate judge. She's still is doing that she still has the job right? still the paycheck and still in office uh, it'll take maybe a month or two before the general, the uh, supreme court will rule on this there's an election next month she has opposition yeah well there's such a long list of oh girl this is crazy work Randy. it's extraordinary courtney usually this does not happen mm. in, with the jqc Wow. I am glad that I clicked on that video to get a bit more competent. So it looks like you wanted them. So you the one that filed a lawsuit against your HOA. You tried to get them to settle it. And it looks like they still apply pressure or whatever from their standpoint to where they're garnishing your wages of some sort to $43,000. Now, see, girl, that is messed up. You should have went down there messing with them folks, I will say. But aside from that. I mean, HOAs are good because it definitely keeps, you know, people on task when it comes to their property, the neighborhood looking up to par and stuff. But then y'all also be full of shit because I really hate that people have to sit up there, spend all this money on a home and then you could tell them what they can and cannot do in a sense. You know what I'm saying? 
But you know, you got to get permission just to build a deck or something in the backyard or get permission to paint or this or that. Girl, it's a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and it's giving you might as well stay in an apartment. But you know, anyway, girl. Um, get back. Now, I want to get into, did we get it finished getting into the body cam? Um, let me see more of this. Oh, he said she can't control herself. Boom. So that's what the officer is saying. Is his word against hers? He's saying he saw the situation happening. He went up there. He tried to break it up. She saw the officer and she just punched the officer. He said she can't control herself. Now, what we saw at the top of the video, officer, it did look like you was grabbing the other young lady and she was pushing. Now, I'm not saying the lady was in the right. But you was grabbing the other young lady and then she was doing all this pushing. I feel like he confirmed seeing the video at the very top that she did hit the officer. Now, whether it was a punch or whatever, you did, ma'am. You did hit the officer. But officer, for you to snatch her up and nobody else to get the um, details right then on the spot of the man that assaulted the young lady so that he can too, he too can face charges. That's a problem for me. OK, but um, girl, this is crazy. And then now he's saying what happened to the other girl, the girl she had a conflict with. I feel like if you're speaking on her, you're still not listening. They're legit telling you that another man jumped on her. So she wasn't fighting a girl. She was trying to help the girl. One, two, six, eight, four. Baby, this lady is praying in the back of this man's. I have to skip around to see what else is going on. Okay. What is this? Oh, did she say F you, man? I'm trying to get this part. I'm trying to get this process. You. Okay. I'm trying to get this process. You. I'm praying for you right now. Don't, don't talk to me. Like, I'm, I'm really praying for your spirit. And not you praying for his spirit and you told the man, fuck you, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, this is crazy work here. Take me where you need to take me. I'm not scared of you. I'm not scared of jail. I'm not scared of none of it. Take me where you need to take me. Oh, wow. Take me where you need to take me. Stop harassing me. She's, I'm concerned. Take me where you need to take me. I'm not scared of you or jail. Please take me where you need to take me. No, I could give a Take me where you want to take me. You don't want to harass me. I'm not. I'm not. Listen, listen. No, you stop playing with me. You are you have beat a woman and you beat me to the ground. Oh Man. my! Take me where you want to take me. I can't take. No, you. I don't take have any me. Identification and I don't care. You don't need identification. You have locked people up and you you have picked up dead bodies when you don't know who bodies it was, Man. but you picked them up. Man. Take me where you need to take me. I'm trying to. No, take me where you need to take me immediately, expeditiously. <laughs> You're preventing. Take that. me. I could give a. Take me where you. It's want the officer trying not to laugh in her face. Now. Take me where you want to take me. You, I pray for you. I, I, I promise I pray for you because your life, you have a long life to live. I promise you. I pray for you. Ma'am, I need your first I pray for last you, sentence. sir. Listen to me. So I can book you in so you the can last go on with your day. So you can go on with your day. Sir, the last, person that did, the last person that ever tried me like this died 30 days later. Oh. I pray for you. And I, I pray for you. My God. I'm trying to book you in. My God. So you can right go. Now, Jesus, I'm concerned. 
I'm trying to book you. Know you what? I am concerned. Girl, I was going to say I am concerned. Not confusion. I am concerned because, ma'am. So the last person that did that to you died 30 days later. Did you pray for them as well, ma'am? Ma'am, I don't know what to think about this anymore, ma'am. I really don't, ma'am. I mean, ma'am, ma'am. He, he abused that woman outside here, tried to abuse me, Lord. Right now, I ask that you forgive him. I ask that you put his heart in his spirit, Lord. I pray that you let him live and understand. I pray that he don't understand, Lord. And let, if he feels this is a mockery, Lord, please let him understand. Oh, ma'am, I'm trying to get oh, you booked in understand. so you can go. Oh, Lord, he doesn't understand mm, what okay, this is. This is some crazy shit here. He doesn't understand the spirit of God. Because he's, under, he's understood what the good of what the crowd voice is. He understood what the Illuminati is. But he don't know what you are. It's not on my hands. It's on that woman's head. He beat to the ground just a minute ago that I wouldn't watch. Let him take me where I need to be. Ma'am, I need your name so I can take you where you want to go. Ma'am, this man is stressed out, ma'am. Listen, I'm cutting you. Listen. I have to fast forward, y'all. Because ma'am, what is going on? Listen, I'm cutting you. Listen. I have to fast forward, y'all. Because what is going on here? Ma'am. Wow. She ain't got no shoes on? Or do she got heels on? Okay, she got her heels on. I was gonna say. He looked like he tried to do what with you before? He said, shut the fuck up. You look like a nigga that tried to eat on me before and I wouldn't let you. I cannot take it. Stop touching me. Yeah, stop touching me. Your honor. Your honor. Your honor. Please just go, your honor. Don't touch me. Your honor, just. I know you're upset, ma'am. But you can just do what all you need to do as soon as you leave. Especially if he was wrong. Yeah. 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 Well, I don't never want to go in there, ever. <laughs> Oh, Wadsworth, Wadsworth. 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 Mm -mm. What's your name? Girl, I wouldn't even be drinking out that water fountain. I just can't. I asked him to call somebody for me and he did. So, what's your name? I'll, when, I, when I get to call somebody, please, I'll, I'll talk to you. Uh, Cyrus mm -hmm. Call Cyrus Collie. Mm -hmm. Call Cyrus, please. Thank you. Okay. Cyrus Collie, thank you. Uh, Cyrus Collie, is that his boss or something? Cyrus Collie. Call Cyrus Collie. Call Cyrus Collie. Bro, this is a mess here. Was he an undercover officer? So wait, 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 not undercover, but like an officer that's not on duty. So when she was in the car and she kept saying like, you know, you, you, he beat this girl, he beat me. So what is sounding, I'm confusion. I am confusion now. 
I'm wondering if he, but then how would he have on his camera though? So was there another officer that may have assaulted the young lady and then she jumped in on it? And when she jumped in on the situation, um, she was arrested for hitting an officer when ultimately she was trying to defend the young lady. Because that's kind of similar to what it sounds like the lady is saying. Off-duty officer is what I'm thinking about. Off-duty. So, girl, y'all got to let me know. This is crazy. I don't know this girl. I've never met her in my life. Oh, I'll take your county. Uh, hey, if something happened to me, we got you. We'll watch. Okay. Okay, so why she don't want to give the name because she's a judge. Oh, she's If she's Crazy, so he can't be off. Stay here and your friends can pick you up. No. The ones that were in the Audi. Listen That's it. All I have to do is put your name and date of birth so you can get booked in. You, you a liar. You're a liar. I'm telling you what I'm talking about. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. You're a liar. Boom. So this is I thought I was tripping. Okay. So he probably was not a, a, a off duty officer. I don't know, but he damn sure was an officer that assaulted another young lady and then now she girl, this is crazy. No, but I I like this. Girl, this is Oh, he's no, tired of these club jobs. Girl, this is a mess. This is a mess. And now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like I may have seen this story over on Instagram real quick. Let me go to her page and see if she put something up about this. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Did she put anything up about this story? Okay, yes. All right, let's hop over here to a gossip of the city. They say Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson was arrested at a Buckhead nightclub. All right, they said after allegedly striking a police officer. All right, so, um, to everyone that's saying as a judge, I wouldn't be in the club. Welcome to Atlanta. There are judges, the lawyers, doctors, etc. that are there. Somebody says at least post the full story. She was defending another woman from a man's attack and hit the off-duty officer in plain clothes by accident. So the officer was in plain clothes. So she hit another officer by accident. So they're starting to see it how I'm I'm looking at it. But I don't know because I'm like, if he was off duty, he wouldn't have a camera on. So maybe some other officers came. And then she was arrested because of that. Like, that's crazy. Somebody says, man, they bet the f not dropped them charges. She should be ashamed of herself. A whole judge down there acting like a RT, for, I guess a hood rat, basically. Nah, she needs to take accountability for how she acted as a sitting judge. Nope. Somebody says the, off the police officer was in plain clothes and was attacking a woman. The judge stepped in, free her. All right. Um, this is crazy. Somebody said this is not the whole story. The witnesses say she was helping out a woman because she was being attacked by a man in which the man got away. That is what kills me the most. Okay. 
Um, somebody says, I get she helping another woman, so I don't feel like she should have been arrested. Now, I also hear them say that's a cop, so maybe she didn't know he was a cop. But then she says the last person who tried to hit me was dead 30 days later. She is a judge, okay, and has to conduct herself to a certain standard. You don't get to take the law into your own hands or threaten cops or hit them. As a judge, I wouldn't even be in a public bar for my own safety, let alone that drunk. Now, granted, I do understand that for your own safety, you probably won't want to be out and about but it's not like she's a judge in the buckhead area you know she's a judge out there in douglas county okay uh, but it don't mean that people you know closer to the city don't got no charges further out that had to come before her or whatnot so i do understand the safety but let's be realistic about it people gonna hang out okay they gonna hang out they gonna go to the bars and all of that it's just what it is regardless of their position um, so I'm not really going to come down on her for, for, for going out and about, because even if with her being out and about, if she would have never got into this altercation, y'all would have never been up there talking about some, Oh, she shouldn't have been out and about hanging out at a bar. Da, 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 da. No, it's only because she got in this altercation that y'all is saying she shouldn't even been there in the first place. I think the conversation probably should have been whether or not she should have actually defended the young lady or not. OK, because when you're trying to defend somebody and you're trying to back everybody up off of them, you don't know who is who, what's what, you know, and sometimes your emotions can take um, take over things, you know. So, girl, this is just a mess. This is a mess, child. Ooh, honey, y'all got to hop down in the comments and let me know y'all thoughts about all of this. This is crazy. All right. I'm Jamie. That's me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share my videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Jamie. That's me, honey. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Bye bye.